Good morning. Today we're here at Kroger. We're going to go in and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Kroger here, we notice they got a digital coupon on all their grapes. The red seedless um, and the green and the black grapes. 89 cents a pound. It just says red seedless grapes, but this does include all of them. It's a good deal. You can use up to five times. They do have their organic blueberries, 18 ounces, on sale this week for $2.99. It's a pretty good deal. Some organic options that they have here are their tomatoes on the vine. They are $2.29 regular price. Somebody was asking about those. And the avocados organic, uh, $2 a piece. Uh, now, we've seen these as high as $2.49, so a little cheaper on the regular price. I always like to see the regular prices get cheaper. They do have a lot of the bags of russet potatoes in, which it's just good to see that they've got them. They don't have the sale up yet, but I do know that they are $2.99 for a five-pound bag, so $6 for 10 pounds. Uh, I know that a lot of Kroger's were offering a sale last week. I was hoping we would get that deal, $0.99 cents for a five-pound bag, but not so much. Um, it is $2.99 for the sale at our Kroger. So they do have the Driscoll strawberries back in. Um, it's, we've been seeing these less and less for the Driscolls, which everybody likes. Uh, they are back in, $2.99 a pound. They are out of the two pounds, um, but really it's the same price. $5.98 for the two pounds or $2.99 for the one pound. So you can just get two of the one pounds. Did notice a sign here though. Due to inclement weather in their growing region, strawberries are currently in short supply. Because of this, you may notice limited availability as our partners work to get fresh quality strawberries to our stores. Thank you for the understanding and we apologize for the inconvenience. Apples are in very short supply here at Kroger. Um, I will say they are still $1.69 a pound for the Granny Smith, Gala, Fuji. They do have a couple organic options here. Uh, Granny Smith, three for two, um, two twenty nine for the a pound for the Gala apples, and three thirty nine a pound for the Honeycrisp. However, if we come down here, the non organic Honeycrisp, which in my opinion looked pretty much the same, dollar uh, seventy seven a pound on sale, down from two fifty nine a pound this week. So, pretty good deal there. Somebody was saying that they haven't been able to find the red petite. Uh, the petite red potatoes here. They do have them here at Kroger. Uh, it is the regular price at $3.49, but as we see here, it says low price. And whenever we see that here in a couple weeks, they'll probably be going up. So if you find them, definitely buy up a couple. They do have the white onions on sale. I gotta say, these look pretty good for $1.19 a pound. Um, onions have slowly been going back up in price. We saw for a while these were on a good sale. We were finding the uh, sweet onions here for right around a dollar a pound. Now they're back up to $1.59 a pound. That's better than what we saw a few months ago when it was $1.79 a pound, but still, they're, I have a feeling they're going to get back up there. I don't know if it's just not in season or what. Um, somebody was saying they were having trouble finding sweet potatoes. I will say, um, you know, they are fairly low. Usually this is piled on. $0.89 cents a pound. Um, these are some pretty good looking ones too, I do gotta say that. They do have some other red sweet potatoes here for $1.99 a pound, a little more expensive. Red potatoes continue to be an issue, and another issue is that I thought these prices were going to go down. They, uh, $1.49 a pound, you know, these were $1.19 a pound just a couple months ago. Of course, we've had a lot of shortages on potatoes, so that could have caused this. But as you can see here, they barely have any. They do have a lot of bags of potatoes over here, though. They do have the 10 pounds for $5.99, which that is down about a dollar. Um, the five pound bags are, they do have the sticker over here on the other side for $2.99, which is what the sale is. Regular price for these now are $4.29. $4.29, I'm sorry, these are down $2. These were $7.99 the last time. Uh, it has low price on there though, so it'll probably be going back up to that. So if you're looking for potatoes, I would get to Kroger and and get them and stock up a, on a few because $4.29 for a five pound bag is ridiculous. They do have some of the pears here, some of the Anju pears, which is ones that some people are looking for. 
and the Barlow pairs, both two pound bags for $2.99 this week. I gotta say, this particular Kroger I'm at, this is the smaller Kroger, but they are out of a lot of stuff. Usually they're pretty packed in. Uh, they do have the Sweetums oranges here, three pound bag for $3.99. That's not too bad compared to what a lot of the other prices have been. They have one bag of peaches here, $3.99 for a two pound bag. Wow, that's expensive. We got a comment that someone was having trouble finding some of the Simply Orange orange juice here. Uh, they do look like they've restocked here at Kroger. It has been low in a lot of our stores, but they do have a sale on it this week. Uh, three for $10, so making it about $3.33 for one of these, down from $4.29. That's not too bad. And with this sale, you do not have to buy three of them. You can just buy one, and it'll be $3.34. Yeah, right here. $3.34 digital coupon deal on the Kroger orange juice and I, I do like the home style home style is okay I like simply orange better but for $1.99 that's a pretty good deal uh, and you can use up to five times these these ones expire November 1st always get the latest date also always check the dates on everything oh look at this even found one later November 4th of course that's the original though I like the home style Lots of digital coupon deals this week. Um, again, for all of our new viewers, um, I recommend doing this from home on your computer. You do not need to do this on your phone. You just have to link your account with your phone number so that when you use your Kroger Plus card, it's able to recognize the deal that you've clipped from either your laptop or home computer. You can do this on your phone, but I recommend doing it at home so you don't have to go and scan every one of these QR codes. You can just go online and digitally clip every one to your account. That's the easiest way to go. Um, yeah, there are some good deals. This one right here too, the SpaghettiOs, four for four. This means that you have to get four of them, but when you do with the digital coupon, you'll get them for a dollar a piece. You can do this up to five times, which you can stock up on these for a dollar a can. These are a dollar fifty a can, regular price now. They do have a lot of 10 for 10 items this week too that I'm noticing. Some tissues, Powerade, sparkling ice drinks, which those are usually a dollar anyway. Um, but yeah, the, with this sale, you only have to use your Kroger Plus card. To get them for a dollar you don't have to buy 10 you can just buy one and it's still a dollar as long as you use your card uh, but that's only on this specific deal where you see how much it is each with card see how that says a dollar each with card as long as it says that on there then you're good to go so we've gotten some more comments on the sarah lee bread uh, i do notice it's on sale this week for 2.99 for the honey wheat i uh, don't see a sale on the whole wheat don't know if that's included and they just didn't put up the sticker but yeah, I thought I'd point this price out. Uh, somebody was asking about it. The ballpark bun sale must have been pretty good. Uh, people look, looks like they bought them up or they're just not getting them in. It was on sale for $2.99. These are the only ballpark buns I see left of the everything. They have plenty of the Kroger. But I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of the Kroger hot dog or regular hamburger buns. They are $1.69. These used to be a dollar. They went up to $1.49 about five or six months ago. They've climbed up 10 cents every couple months. $1.69 now. It's crazy. Digital coupon deal on the 24 packs of Pop, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or 7-Up. This sale was like $7.99 like a month ago. But it is what it is. The regular price now, $12.99. $12.99 for a 24 pack. That is ridiculous. Um, but $8.99. So if you, if you drink Pop, uh, you may want to get it. I want to get it at Kroger. It's the cheapest I've seen it in over a month. They also have four for $12, making these uh, six packs of the 16.9 ounce pops. I always say that because these are not 20 ounces. They are 16.9 ounces. Uh, four for $12. Regular price for one of these now is $5.49, which is insane. But you can get it this week, four for 12, making them $3.00 a piece per six pack and you can mix and match somebody was saying they were having trouble finding some salad dressings i will say kroger's looks like it's pretty loaded down on uh different salad dressings here it's completely full it's good to see a lot of the kroger brand ones are on sale this week digital coupon dollar 29 you can use up to five times their ranch is actually pretty decent and their italian dressing here 
The zesty Italian, that's pretty good too. What's not good is $6.29 for your regular 30 ounce Miracle Whip. $6.29. Um, so look at this. Hellman's regular size, 30 ounces, $6.49. I know some people have said this has to do with the oil and stuff that has to go into mayonnaise. Yeah, maybe so, but that is still ridiculously overpriced. $5 is overpriced. The Real Mayo Craft, $4.99. $4.99 for the 30 ounce thing. That, that's just crazy. They do have the Duke's mayonnaise on sale for $6.49 down from $6.99. $6.49 was the regular price of this 32 ounces uh, just a month ago, but it's gone up. But on sale for the uh, $6.49 and the bigger one here, $8.99 for 48 ounces. We have been getting more and more comments on Duke's mayonnaise since they've kind of uh, started delivering it up north here. Okay, so this is an example here of what I was talking about a little over a month ago. Uh, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, will remember that the Heinz ketchup here, the 38 ounces, was $5.49. Okay, $5.49 for the, or I'm sorry, $5.29. $5.29. Now, the sale price, which extends until October 18th, which he, this has been on here for... I don't know, maybe two, three months, and they had it for $349, $349 on sale. Now, because the regular price went up, that drove the regular or the sale price that was a couple months ago up as well. So just because you see sale uh, good until October 18th or whatever, if the regular price goes up, that will bring up the sale price as well. Jeff peanut butter is making a comeback we have started to see it everywhere uh 140 ounce thing of it here for six dollars and 79 cents is a bit much before their recall it was 5.99 um however we have seen it for 6.99 in some stores so that's a little cheaper uh two of the 40 ounce jars is 12.99 now you can get two of the 48 ounce jars the biggest ones they make at least in the jar uh, two of them for $10.60, so still a couple dollars cheaper than this, and 16 more ounces. One thing I just noticed is Progresso had their sale last week. And you bought If you bought eight, they were $1.49 a can, but that sale's over, but look at the regular price here. Regular price dropped from $2.99 to $2.49. I mean, that's awesome. Hopefully it stays there. Good to see something moving in the right direction. However, you guys know the real sale of the week, and I am excited to talk about it here, are the Campbell's Soups on the digital coupon you can use up to five times. Uh, if you have a friend that doesn't plan on buying these, I would take them with you so you can get more. I'm um, not sure if you can do this. I don't think you could do this every day. I think once it links to your Kroger account, I don't know if you'll be able to link it again. And that's a shame because this is an amazing deal. Uh, $2.79 a can regular price, $1.29 a can this week. Uh, you can use up to five times, and I would recommend using it. $1.29 is the best price we've seen on these in a long time. So, yeah, this is a great deal. Also wanted to show, even though the regular price is ridiculous now on stovetop at $3.29, they do have them on sale, two for four dollars this week, and this is good until November 1st. So remember, if this regular price goes up, that means the sale price will go up. But still, I don't know because we had such a shortage of this last year before the holidays. Might be a good idea to buy up a couple, two dollars a piece. That's pretty good. Somebody was asking if I would check the Simple Truth Organic Beans. Uh, the canned beans, they do have them here at this Kroger. Some places they don't have them, uh, and they've been in very short supply. Uh, they do, you know, there's actually a digital deal going on with these for 95 cents a can for the Great Northern Beans and the Garbanzo Beans here. Black beans are $1.25 a can right now this week. Um, and yeah, these up here are $1.25 a can too. Regular price doesn't say. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, we rarely check on these because we don't get a lot of comments on it, but because of your comment, I wanted to check on them just to make sure for one, they were still getting them in. Uh, you can get the four pack cans here, uh, regular price four seventy nine, which I don't feel is too bad for simple truth, uh, on sale four forty nine. 
this week for the tri blend too. Yeah, the tri bean blend and the dark red kidney beans. I feel like some of the things that are happening to people across the country were some things that were happening to us last year. Last year we couldn't find any macaroni and cheese this time uh, last year and it seems like we are just overstocked with macaroni and cheese now. But I did want to point out for uh, those who asked, um, they do have a sale digital coupon four for four dollars this is another one where you have to buy four of them but you get them each for a dollar when you do otherwise it's a dollar 25 a piece if you come in here and don't want to buy four if you just don't want four you it's a dollar 25 it says four for five but that's that's just if you use your kroger card you can get one for a dollar 25 but getting them each for a dollar i mean that's a dollar savings not going to go over all of them, but some of their giant size, mega size boxes of cereal digital coupon this week for $2.49. Now that is a pretty good deal. Regular price, not a good deal. $6.99. That's crazy. That's why we wait for these deals. You know, we find the sale, we stock up on it, and then when we find the sale again like this, you know, we'll stock them on again. Like, I would probably, I like Honey Bunches of Oats. And for $2.50, that's a great deal. I'm still working off the last of my uh, raisin brand that I got a great deal on. Um, but yeah, oh, even Honey Nut Cheerios here. $2.49, regularly $7. That's a good deal. Giant size. And there are a lot more here than I originally thought. They got Cocoa Puffs, Golden Grams, Reese Puffs, Lucky Charms, Tricks. Every one of these giant things of cereal here, $2.49. So this is a good time to stock up on some of the ones that you may like. Okay, so we had gotten some comments on oatmeal. So I wanted to check. It was the instant oatmeal, maple brown sugar you were asking about. Uh, it is $3.69 at Kroger. It's been that for a while. And that is up from $2.99 not that long ago. I know that. But uh, the 18 pack of the um, maple and brown sugar, $7. Okay, so... It's, it's still too much if you ask me. However, I have tried the maple and brown sugar. The only difference that I see with this is that you might have to add a little bit extra brown sugar. It seems like the Quaker has a little bit more brown sugar than the Kroger. But if you have brown sugar on hand when you make this, before you make it, throw a little bit on top. It tastes exactly the same, in my opinion. Um, and these are regularly $1.79 a box for 10 pouches, not eight. Um, and it is on sale this week, digital coupon sale, $1.29 a box. So you save a little bit here and you can use up to five times. And they have all of these on their uh, sale this week. So pretty good deal. We also get a lot of comments on the Quaker Oats uh, Instant One Minute Grits and the Old Fashioned. Both of them on sale this week for $5.99. Still higher than what the regular price was a few months ago, but $5.99 is better than $6.79. One of the reasons why I wanted to come to the smaller Kroger today is because I had a feeling that they would be stocked up on a lot of the things that the bigger Krogers are not, like a lot of this apple cider vinegar. Now, we've been getting a lot of comments uh, from our video uh, a few days ago, and they've also got a bunch of the distilled white vinegar. Now, this Kroger's is kind of off the beaten path. Uh, it's, that's why I like coming to this. We were coming to this one last year when a lot of Kroger's were out of stuff. We were able to find it at this one so keep that in mind if you have one that's not as big or popular as some of the other ones this is a good place to go and look also they have the kroger distilled white vinegar on sale for a dollar 89 this week didn't notice that but more we've been getting a lot of comments on the apple cider vinegar we did see a lot at meyer uh, meyer had a ton and this kroger does have a ton too they also have the brag here uh which we've got some comments on lately and it is on sale for five dollars and 49 cents so I was right. Crisco canola oil did go up to $7.49. However, both canola and vegetable are on sale to $5.50 a piece. Uh, that's still ridiculous. <laughs> but, you know, at least it's a little cheaper. If you, some people swear by Crisco. Um, somebody was saying it's a little more creamier, I guess, than uh, some of the other ones. They still haven't changed this price, so I don't know. That might actually still be $6.49 here. I would not trust that for the future. Uh, if you use Crisco a lot, buy up a few of them. No limit on this, so $5.50 a piece. It is the shrink-flated 40 ounces, but at least they got it. And they do have a lot more of the Kroger uh, vegetable oil uh, than the other Kroger we were at the other day. $3.79 for 48 ounces. 
So a little eight ounces more. They do have the little ones here, 32 ounces. Still part of the digital coupon, brings it down to 239. You can use it up to five times. Lots of Simple Truth Organic Spices here. Buy one, get one free this week. That's a good deal. This is another reason why I wanted to come to this Kroger's today. Look at the amount of spices that they have compared to the other Kroger we went to where there was hardly any. I mean, this is amazing. Like You can tell they've definitely restocked this recently, but yeah, doesn't, uh, doesn't look too bad. It does look like this Kroger is also pretty well loaded down on cornmeal. They got some of the Jiffy baking mix here down to $3.79 on sale uh, from $4.49. Um, and, and as far as flour goes, it's looking pretty good. What's not looking good is some of these gold metal. Uh, these are starting to go up like some of the other ones. $6.99 for the bread flour, $6.99 for the whole wheat. That's ridiculous. We can get that cheaper anywhere else. I really think they're trying to push their Kroger brands because, as you see, these are way cheaper. Um, but I, I really don't know. They do have some of the Simple Truth Organic here for $4.99. Can't never find that anywhere but Kroger. One thing I will say... They did put up a sorry for the inconvenience sticker for the Messica flower. Something's going on with that. I don't know what it is. Let me know down below. I know somebody had said that uh, because of tortilla shortages, that could have been something, but I don't know. This is this has been two Krogers now where we've seen it completely wiped out. So I don't. It's kind of got me thinking that something else is going on. But let me know down in the comments if you know. Uh, some of the King Arthur flower is on sale. Looks like just the all-purpose flower here. Wow, bread flour, the or okay, it's organic, ten forty nine, but six forty nine for most of these uh, uh, King Arthur is really expensive. We did see where it went up to Meyer, but still not over six dollars. I did just notice that their twenty five pound sugar is seventeen ninety eight now. Their cheapest sugar that is terrible price. Uh, it looks like Domino Sugar went up here too. Uh, went up to four oh nine at. Uh, Meyer, which wasn't that big of an increase, really. It was three ninety nine. It was three ninety nine here. Now it's up to four forty nine. That's up fifty cents. The ten pound Domino is the same price, nine ninety nine. I'm sure that'll probably go up. The one that really gets me here is their cheapest sugar of the four pounds. This went from two fifty nine to two eighty nine, and you know that's look. Look, they're not selling as much now. Somebody was asking about powdered milks. And I see the Neato here. They do have some of the dry milk down here. Packets. They've got the uh, non-fat dry milk fortified with vitamins A and D. $20.99 for 64 ounces. $8.99 for uh, 25.6 ounces. So it does look like Kroger's are starting to get this back in. They were out of this for the longest time. They do have the boxes of it down here for $3.79. And they have the Neato milk here um 6.49 for the small one i do not see a price on the big one here in the next aisle here i was kind of looking for this somebody was asking about the shelf stable milk the almond milk of the simple truth here they have it dollar 79 uh, for a container of it here they have the almond breeze on sale here uh, for a dollar 39 digital coupon you can use up to five times Regular price now, $2.59. That is up from $2.39. They do have the Planet Oat oat Milk here for $3.29. We got some comments on this a while ago. They've got a lot of different options here, too. They got the Simple Truth Oat Milk, $2.29 for that. Some of the Chobani Instant Savings on some of these, a dollar. And already on sale for $3.39, down from $4.49. I wanted to check out some of the coffee here. Notice they got the ground Starbucks on sale. 12 ounces for $7.99. Regular price $9.99. And they do have the 18 ounce on sale for $12.49. $12 down from $14.49. So it keeps going up. But at least, you know, they continue to have some sales on it. The Green Mountain Coffee, which also keeps going up. $8.99 regular price on sale for $6.99. And they've got the big Dunkin' Donuts here, 32 uh, for $25. They do have some of the 8 o'clock coffee pods on sale for $5.99. These continue to go up in price. Uh, six seven. these were $5.99 regular price all day a month ago. Now you're getting the sale for what it was regular price. Six seventy down from $6.79 though. And they do have some of the pods here of the 
uh, Starbucks here on sale this week. Did want to show they have a great deal on Maxwell House. No sales on Folgers this week. Eleven seventy nine for most of them, and twenty four or twelve forty nine for the decaf. Uh, Nineteen point two ounces, so that's kind of crazy. But anyway, Maxwell House they do have a digital deal going on. Uh, brings it down to six ninety nine, down from ten seventy nine regular price. So not too bad on the Maxwell House. I knew the sale had to be coming at some point. I don't think Maxwell House has been on sale in months. Over to the meat here, I did notice a BOGO deal. Boneless pork half loins here. Buy one, get one of equal or lesser value for free. Uh, you do pay the regular price at $3.99 a pound. Um, $0.99 cents, uh, a pound here for the Heritage Farm drums and legs. Not too bad of a deal. Not a fan of Heritage Farm, though. They do have the private selection Angus Top Sirloin uh, with the family packs here. $6.99 a pound, down from $10.99 a pound. So... Not too bad of a deal here, I guess. Not on sale, just low price, but it stuck out to me because that's what they make you, that's what this makes you think is that it is a sale, but it's really not. $4.49, which this is up from $3.99, which is still too much for the 73% lean. However, it is $12 for the three pounds of the 73% lean, making it $4 a pound, so a little cheaper that way, but it does look like meat is starting to go back up in price. Something I haven't seen in a very long time is the Heritage Farm frozen chicken breasts. Now, in my opinion, I would rather get Kroger's, um, but they are $11.99 each. We've gotten good comments on some of the Heritage Farm chicken. I don't know. We're just not uh, fans. We either get Meyer, Sam's Club, and we stock up when we go to those places. So, I don't know. We're usually pretty good. But, yeah, the last time we got Heritage Farm chicken breast. I don't know, it just, it just didn't taste all that great. And, you know, everybody's opinion. Uh, it is cheap, so it is a cheap option. I was walking over here, I noticed they do have the Tyson chicken breast on sale. And honestly, yes, I would rather spend the extra money and get this than Heritage Farm. I don't know, I just, I think it tastes better. But normally $3.99 a pound now, which is actually down from $4.29 a pound. Oh, okay, so... Wait a minute. Yeah, see, that actually says $4.29 a pound on it, but that's not the case. Okay, so they, they adjusted it here, $2.99 $2 a pound. So I don't know why the regular price is $3.99. Maybe it's coming down, which would be good, but $2.99 a pound this week, not too bad. And absolutely no candy shortages here at Kroger. Um, there's candy everywhere. We got the Reese's Castle here. Wow, I cannot believe this. Look at the butter. This was $4.19 when we left two weeks ago. $4.99 now. $4.99 for four sticks of butter, salted and unsalted. This is ridiculous. The double packs went up too. $7 for the two packs on sale. I think you might as well now. I mean, that makes it $3.50 a piece. $4.99. That is absolutely ridiculous. What is going on here? Okay, so these were $2.99, okay, and then they went back down to $2.59 a while ago. And we saw them go up to $2.79. That was the last time I saw them here. $3.29 now for some Pillsbury Grants. I mean, this time last year, they were out of them. They were sold out, or they couldn't, they weren't coming in. $3.20, man, this and the butter. I don't know, guys. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I don't know what has happened here, and I don't know if they're moving around or had to move it off the shelves. Let me know if you know anything about Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, we saw a bunch at Meyer the other day. There is none here, absolutely none. No Kroger, no Philadelphia, completely gone. Well, guys, that was our trip to Kroger. Got some great deals in there this week. The Campbell's Chunky Soups, uh, that's an amazing deal. $1.29 a can, buy them up. Uh, lots of the 10 for 10, but they say 10 for 10, but you only have to buy wine, or you can buy 10. Um, some good deals on the grapes, $0.89 cents a pound uh, on the digital coupon this week. We are going to go to the Kroger Marketplace to check out some more of the stuff, maybe some of the freezer items, some more of the dairy and maybe some of the meats. They were out of a lot of stuff here. Um, and I, I don't know about the cream cheese. 
Uh, they, they may be moving it around. I'm not really sure. We saw plenty at Meyer the other day. So I don't know what's going on with that, but we will check at the Kroger Marketplace. Excited to go there Friday and check out a lot more of these deals because there are some good sales at Kroger this week. Make sure you take advantage uh, so you can save money before this stuff starts going up again. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.